good morning everybody welcome back to boston i guess i'm welcoming myself back since i got back last night yeah this is just going to be a vlog all about today and what i'm doing why am i like forgetting how to vlog <laughs> but basically today i'm just getting my life together unpacking just getting settled <clears throat> back into my apartment and i missed it i like realized how much i missed it my cute little view like look at it mm. all my packages that need to be open maybe we'll do that later getting stuff done i'm actually recording a podcast episode today i haven't even talked about this on my channel go listen to my podcast yay i like haven't officially announced it because i felt like i would always talk about it but it wasn't actually happening and then i finally did it and it's a thing happy hour with gretchen garrity it's on spotify and apple podcast so if you guys listen anywhere else let me know because that would be good for me to know but i feel like those are like the main two so yes definitely go listen by the time this is up my second episode will already be up which is what i'm recording today it's gonna be a deep one all about like body image and kind of like confidence relationship with food like fitness health that kind of thing because I've gone through a lot and I know a lot of girls have we're just gonna dive right into the deep stuff um, but first I'm going to go have a little workout with my trainer Mike I'll bring you guys along and yeah we will see what I get done today okay that was completely a fail leaving my gym right now and I forgot to give Mike my camera, so we didn't film the workout. But you guys have seen so many of my workouts with him, so if you want to know, just go back to one of my videos where I show it. Or he always posts on his like personal training Instagram, and then I repost it in my stories. And I think I have a highlight on my Instagram called, oh my goodness, <laughs> I just got caught on the doorknob. Um, I have a highlight on my Instagram called training, if you guys are interested. Look at everyone. Look who FaceTimed me. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> it's also so nice out. I'm enjoying all the the fall weather. Yeah. Wait, do you like my, my letter I gave you? Yes, Max. That me that reminds me I need to go show them. You are so freaking cute. Were you surprised? Yes, I was so surprised. Okay, so I ran to CVS quick, picked up even more packages um, after the gym and I got a cute little FaceTime from Max. I miss him like so much already. I need to chill. It's been T minus one day, less than one day <laughs> without him. But anyway, yeah, I opened my suitcase last night to find this in there. Baba. <laughs> How cute it is little handwriting. And look what it is. It's so cute. It's an anniversary one. And this is your guys' hint for my present that he got me. And it's on its way to my apartment right here, right now. Because if you guys remember, I talked about how it was like custom. Um, and so he wanted to make sure that I would actually like it. And yeah, so that's why he ordered it. And now it's coming here. And this says, do you want to hear it? I'll read it to you guys. Whether we're snuggled, oh, this is like, you know, what came with the card, like he didn't write that part. Whether we're snuggled together under the covers or meeting each other's eyes in a crowded room, I love how we can act like the rest of the world doesn't exist, like we're alone in the universe. Maybe that's because you really are my world. Happy anniversary. And then he said, Papa. <laughs> he said, to my 365 girlfriend lover, I love you so much and I'm so happy I got to spend our special day with each other. I'm so excited for what is to come. I love you, Bubby. Lover boy. How cute! That made me so happy. And even though all my hidden notes around my apartment are found, I got another note! <laughs> okay, so now I'm trying to figure out the order I need to do everything. I need a shower, so maybe I'll just knock that out first because, ew. And I've been doing this thing where I like sit around and I'm sweaty and it's gross. Need a shower, need to open all my packages, need to record and edit podcast for tomorrow. Need to eat lunch soon, I'm getting hungry. Maybe I'll do that right after I record my podcast. Did I say film again? I keep getting scared that I'm saying film my podcast. Maybe I'll do that right after I record my podcast so I have like an incentive to get my podcast over with so I can eat food. Oh, also I want to tell you, this was interesting. I know I said I was going to record my workout and then I didn't. That was a fail. Today, Mike was like, how about you put on my Apple Watch so we can see like 
how hard you're actually working <laughs> now like see my heart rate but anyway it was really cool to see because i like feel like i never do those type of workouts unless i'm like doing it with mike like i'm always just doing like cardio like spin or like yoga which is just like like lower heart rate zone more like stretching stuff which also i kind of want to go to yoga later too because i miss it so bad if i get all my stuff done in time for like 5 30 i want to go to a yoga class but it was really interesting because my heart rate would get up to like the 150s 160s and then it would go back down and then go up again and he was like yeah that's what you want it to be like it's more like high intensity like interval type things um and it said in 50 minutes i burned 729 calories which feels like so much to me like i didn't know i was burning that much is that like accurate? I swear in Soul Cycle you burn like maybe four or five hundred, maybe six hundred. Like I thought if I went and like ran for an hour that I would burn like maybe six hundred calories. I don't know. Honestly, I don't really want to know. I really don't care because I don't want to turn into a psycho again that's like staring at my my calories and my heart rate and whatever. Okay, let's shower first. Oh, also I need to unpack. Do laundry. Wow. We're adding a lot to this list. Let's shower. Unpack. Packages, laundry, podcast, eat. How does that sound? <laughs> so before we get into the really deep, heavy hitting stuff, let's just talk about what I'm happy about currently since we decided that's how I'm going to start off like every podcast every week pretty much. And yeah, right now, just thinking about in the past week, what's made me so happy is obviously visiting Max since I was visiting Max in Reading where he lives right now and it was just the best week. So yeah, that is definitely something that I'm so happy about. Guys, look who's home. My roomie. <laughs> We're reunited. I recorded my <laughs> podcast. <coughs> Good bless you. I, what are you supposed to say if someone coughs consentite? <laughs> I don't know. I recorded my podcast. I unpacked my suitcase. I didn't do laundry. Maybe I'll do that later. I don't even know if I have enough laundry to do anyway. Oh, I don't think I even told my blog. Taylor so kindly cleaned my room while I was gone. <coughs> In my did you bathroom. Notice fresh vacuum marks? I did! Right as I walked in, I was like, ah, oh, vacuum marks. Those are the best. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And what else was I gonna say? Oh, I'm really hungry, so I'm about to cook my HelloFresh. I am cooking creamy, dreamy mushroom <laughs> jameli. Is that how you say it? Hameli? Jameli? That's really bad. I probably sound really stupid, but that kind of pasta, it looks so good. I didn't know this was in the Hall of Fame, so that means it must be good because they have their like Hall of Fame recipes. Let's get cooking, peeps. And if you guys, for some reason, don't know what HelloFresh is, if you're like brand new to my channel, because I've honestly been getting HelloFresh meal kits for like years now, ever since college. I remember with Taylor and Megan, we would always make those like sweet potato tacos. Um, but I just feel like my life is like endless grocery store trips and takeout food sometimes. So it's so nice, like getting covered by HelloFresh because especially when I just got back from my trip last night, like I just did not want to worry about grocery shopping today or anything. So it's so nice having food that's just like ready here for me to cook. It's just like really convenient that it came today. I really like that there's something for everyone with HelloFresh. They have like calorie smart options. There's like family boxes. I know they also do vegetarian. And even for someone like Taylor that's vegan or like back in the day when I was vegan, I'm sure for the vegetarian ones, you could just like take out the cheese or like the sour cream or the dairy aspect and like I said before they have the Hall of Fame which like this recipe is on which is just like people's like top favorite choices and I just love how convenient it is that you can change like the day it gets delivered you can skip a week whenever you need so it's just really convenient in that way and last but not least I know that HelloFresh is now from $5.66 per serving and I know you guys can get started with eight free meals that's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh if you go to hellofresh.com and you use my code at GretchenG80 so I would definitely recommend now, time to cook my pasta. I'm so hungry. Let's get it.
Okay guys, finished cooking. This one was so simple. I feel like I did it even quicker than like 30 minutes because normally it'll tell you like, yeah, prep five minutes, total 30 minutes, but I feel like I did it so quick. And yeah, I feel like you can't really like mess it up. Their stuff is so simple. And this one is so good, you guys. There's like garlic herb butter in there and that's like my favorite. So literally, this one, highly recommend. Just finished yoga. It's like dark out. It's so sad how it gets dark here literally so early. And also there's just so many people walking by that are definitely like, what the heck? But whatever. I can't it's like legit pitch dark out, but that was so good. Guys, go to Megan. I love her class so much. She was in my sorority with me at BU and she just has the best energy. And I just love like the stuff that she does, like the moves, the moves, the flows that she does. So we're out. I need to go shower again. <laughs> when I asked you to ride podium after a week of not working out. And Brooke was here, Luisa was here, friend Andrea, KP, Natalie, and then all left, so I didn't even vlog with them, but. Oh, that was good. Oh man, you guys. Although I did not feel prepared to lead that class, I'm happy I did after, and I knew I would be after I did. And it's good to just challenge yourself and really push yourself sometimes, because that was really hard for me, and I don't think riding podium has ever been that hard for me because normally I'm like in good enough shape that it's fine but that was so difficult and it was nice that no one in the class could really tell that I was like struggling so hard and could barely keep up with them I wanted to be like how's everybody doing out there <laughs> but um no that was so good and you know like half the battle is mental so you can do it everybody if I can do it you can do it and guys I'm, I'm finishing like, here other girls in my sorority but yeah. they're all I'll pause it so that I can talk, but I'm finishing Gals on the Go with Tori, and I already listened to Tori's podcast with Brooke, and I'm just obsessed with them. They're like my favorite people, and I just made bagel with eggs, some blackberries that I got at Whole Foods, and literally, <laughs> what was I just talking about after Soul Cycle? I don't even know. I was just so out of it. Basically, I just wasn't expecting Sarah to ask me to write up, and it's always when you least expect it. And when you feel like you can't do it, and that's when you get asked. <laughs> no, but it was so good, and I'm happy that it really challenged me and showed me that I could do it because I was doubting myself, and now I'm like, I can do anything, you know? So, anyway, I need to eat. I'm so hungry. I, like, was in the weirdest mood last night for, like, dinner. Like, Taylor and I were just not hungry, and I was like, I... Just nothing sounds good. Do you ever get in that mood? I'm like, nothing sounds good to me right now. I literally don't eat anything, so I eat some pretzels and like, I had some oatmeal later. But I didn't really have like dinner. So yeah, when I was riding the pudding this morning, I was like, wow, I wish I had dinner and like breakfast, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna shower, and I was talking about all the packages I need to open yesterday, and I still haven't opened them. So we're gonna have a big opening package time. It'll be fun. Okay, we're finally doing my unboxing, and you guys, this is so much stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages, and three of them, oh man, I'm just gonna show you right now. I'm just gonna show in my next video because I got so, so, so much stuff that I ordered from Express, oh, and that would take up this entire video. So, we're just gonna do everything else minus that. Let's start with this. I got this package from Lush, which I was not expecting, so they must have got my address somehow. Like, I don't really know. Um, but I'm excited because I feel like their stuff is so awesome, and I haven't tried it too much. Like, Lucy used to get this face wash that we loved, or like shampoo. Oh my god, are these bath bombs? Taylor. These smell so good. Santa, ba Santa bomb. Bomb bath bomb. <laughs> these smell like candy. You need one of these. You don't feel good and you can take a bath. Oh my gosh. Lush. Thank you. I'm obsessed. Wait, this is so incredible. I don't know if I've ever used a Lush bath bomb. Like, who am I? Why haven't I? I've always known about them. But I don't think I've ever used them. Once upon a time body lotion oh my god i'm so excited to try all this out and i know their stuff is like um 
Oh, this is made with 100% recycled plastic. I know there's stuff, I don't know how to say it. Vegan, self-preserving. It tells you like, it, it's really like natural stuff. Ooh. I can't tell what like scent that is. Apple infusion is the first ingredient. So I guess it's pretty apple-y. <laughs> and that is a body lotion. Glide this rich jojoba oil in muru muru butter lotion. Over your skin, watch dryness disappear. Okay, I need that because my skin gets so dry so easily. This is so exciting. Cinnamon orange bath melt. Whoa. That's cool. It just looks cool. Um, this is cookie dough shower scrub. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Wait, I love scrubs to like exfoliate before. Oh my god. That smells so good. Before you like shave or anything i feel it and exfoliator is so good sugar plum fairy lip scrub scrub lips soft with the fruity taste of black currants Ooh, this smells so good i actually have had um i remember back in the day on youtube like i've been on youtube for seven years so back in the day everyone needed this bubble gum lip scrub from lush because you could like eat it after do you remember that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. It rings a bell. Yeah. And so I remember I like probably like traveled somewhere and like needed to go to the Lush to get the bubblegum lip scrub because everyone and their mother had it and anyone if that was anyone had it. And so I needed it. But that smells literally even better. I'm so excited. This is so fun. There's a bunch of peanuts in here. So it's like I get to dig around and find stuff. Santa's belly shower jelly. This is like so fun. The festive red jelly is filled with fragrant star anise infusion and fresh apple juice. I'm so excited to try all this. This seems like it's like holiday flavored, scented. Oh my God, it's literally like jelly and there's like gold like glitter on top. This is so fun. I'm so excited to try out their like body stuff. Like I haven't tried that. Ooh, this, this looks like another bath bomb. Snow Fairy Crystal Ball Amaze Ball Bath Bomb. I wonder why this one's wrapped up separate. Maybe just because it's a different flavor. Whoa! Oh my goodness. I think I just messed it up. <laughs> it's like this. And there was a bunch of stuff that came like coming out of here all these like crystals okay well i need to put this back on so it's like that it has like a little plug wait i'm so excited to take a bath in these oh i don't even have a bath in my shower i guess i'm using the bath in your shower <laughs> have you ever taken a bath in there probably no, not heck no. okay well we're gonna start snow fairy shower gel and write a little magic into your shower this candy scented sparkler candy scented this product was made by Madu, it tells you like who packed it. I don't think I can smell it without taking that thing off, but this reminds me of being like a little girl and like everything's like pink. I love it. Okay, that may be all. I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> okay, yay! I think that's everything. <laughs> Our Christmas collection launches online October 15th and store November 1st. We decided to make Christmas come a little early for you. This Christmas, blah, blah, blah. We're inviting you to get ethical, ethically sourced ingredients grown in our regenerative farms to empower women in India. Rewrap markets of our cotton nut wraps to putting our face on our products so you know it's handmade. We're proud to be the most ethical store on the block. To cut back on waste and make an impact with our stunning ethical Christmas range. Yay! Looks like you made it to the nice list. That's cute. Oh, and it gives you like instructions on how to use everything. Yay! Thanks, Lush. Um, okay, next. I know I'm gonna show this in an upcoming video soon, but I got a bunch of stuff from Lululemon. They sent me some stuff and then some stuff I just bought on my own because I can't get enough. And maybe I'll do a sneak preview. Like not tell you what it is, but maybe you can guess. Well, these I know are joggers. <laughs> Hint. Ooh, a line short. You know what? I might even put these on right now because I don't know if they can see. Yeah, these ones that I have from Maritzia, I just noticed. Where'd it go? There's like weird stains on them. I mean, Taylor, I think it's from like 
the wash like detergent on them or something so that might have to go um and i may put those on which reminds me you guys you're gonna be maybe upset with me but um there was no way i could get that hawaiian mud out of these leggings that were my favorite and i saw that they still have them in stock on the so these are what i just bought again because i love them so much and i'm just gonna donate the ones that have some stains on them and that also reminds me the next thing i'll show you wait which i'll get to in a second um oh i got a line pants i these ones i think they only have online they're called the super high rise so i'm so excited to try those out and then this can be a surprise this is this black this black coat i got coming soon and i actually know i ordered another sports bra but i think that's getting shipped separate okay then i got stuff from all right i feel like i'm always gonna say it wrong it's like a u rate and i know i've showed the rings i wear every day of course i'm not wearing my rings right now because i just got out of the shower but you guys know the ones that i stack up right here there's three there's like a straight wait i'm gonna get them so you can see so these are the ones that i always wear on this finger if you guys notice in the m i just got this little initial ring for max obviously and then this like braided little skinny one and then just this plain silver one and I love them all stacked together I think it's so cute so anyway that's just what I was trying to say that I have stuff from all right already um I got oh my I like, forgot what I ordered because I ordered this a while ago but it came while I was away so <clears throat> I got a mini gold letter charm pendant and I got a wide huggy earring oh my god I'm so excited okay ready Aww. look at these little tiny gold little like kind of like these hoops but like smaller and like thicker i'm excited to try those out and then this i don't want to get sad but i'll just say it quickly so you don't have to get too sad i just got a little gold d for well i guess for dan and daddy <laughs> oh i thought it was for dad yeah so I guess it can be either. But um, yeah, I just thought it was really cute and will remind me of my dad. And yeah, but I guess it so happens that his first name is also Dan. But yeah, I just like how little and dainty it is. And I love, um, I know I've talked about O'Rate before, but I love that their stuff is like fine, like nice gold jewelry, but like a lot less expensive than like, you know, something like Cartier or something where you're like literally playing, playing paying for the brand. So. I'm excited for those. Yay. Okay, now I have a package from Grey Bandit. If you guys know, I love their clothes so much. And let's see what I got. I also ordered this stuff so long ago, I like forget. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, this is, I've seen this like on their Instagram. I follow their Instagram. It's so cute. Okay, I really can't tell you by holding it up, but it's like a black tube top that goes to like one shoulder and ties. So that'll be so cute for going out. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I forgot that I picked this out. Okay, I feel like mini, not mini, midi leopard skirts are such a thing. And I'm so behind on this trend. And I was like, I must have that. And I'm realizing, oh my God, I cannot wait to wear these. That I also got it in this light blue color. I'm literally getting so excited to wear an outfit in this right now. I saved a photo on Instagram the other day. You know, you can like save like a collection of photos. I was on the explore page and this girl was wearing the cutest outfit. I think it was like a green midi skirt with like a white top or sweater or something. And now I can do that with this. Oh my God. <coughs> I'm so excited. I feel like I haven't been cool enough or ready for the, like the midi skirt trend, but now I'm ready. Okay, this is what I was most excited about. And they're just these, oh, these are so great. I remember they were called like fireside or like campsite, like sweatpants. And they're just the softest material, like green sweatpants. I know I'm going to show some of the stuff coming soon in an Instagram. Sorry. In an Instagram story haul because I love doing that with my Grey Bandit outfits and like making cute little looks. So I'll just show these quickly. I got this like, oh, this is cute little lilac purple crop sweater for the fall and last but not least this is so soft i wish you could feel this material i got this like cream cable knit kind of cropped sweater so cozy i am so happy that i have like new fall sweaters because i feel like i haven't gotten any yet for the fall <laughs> what look at the ground it's such a mess 
<clears throat> okay, last but last but not least. Also stained from the Hawaiian mud or <laughs> my brand new white ultra boost. And you guys saw I ordered them um again the other day and I like washed the old ones but just could not get them how they're supposed to be. So donated those <clears throat> and ordered a new pair for myself because I love them so much and I feel like I just wear my white ones the most out of anything and I actually am realizing that I have the old version of these still but they're also like grayish brown by now because they just get so much love that they're getting a little old so I just got new ones oh, I'm so excited and if you guys remember I literally ordered these with a bunch of Adidas gift cards and I think I paid like $30 for them or something like it was so great that I didn't have to pay the full like 200 because these are expensive and I already bought them once and now I didn't have to pay for like a fully new pair, you know? Oh, that was a lot. So I'm happy I'm not showing the Express stuff right now or else this would get way too long. But I just thought would, that would be fun to open some packages together. And I'm realizing that basically after I, poor Cookie. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's Did you fine. feel better after vitamin C? No, I should have gone in my room so they don't no, no, I'm about to be done anyway. I was just saying after yoga yesterday, I realized I like literally did not film at all. So they didn't even see us only eating like pretzels for dinner. But um, it's because I was working on my podcast all night long. I literally stayed up for four hours editing it. Well, it took me like four hours. I probably started at like eight and went until midnight. And then I posted it, and so I was up like really late doing that and working on that. So my second episode is officially up, which is so exciting. So you guys should go listen because, yeah, I feel like I was just really deep and open in my first like full, real episode. <laughs> um, but like my second official episode. So I think that is it for this vlog. I know it's probably getting a little bit long. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.